Jai Jai Sri Chaitanya Jai Anityananda Jai Advaita Chandra Jai Gaur Bhakta Vinda Om Magyana Timiranda Syagyananjana Shalakaya Chatsuran Militanyena Tesmai Shri Gurave Namaha Vancha Kaupata Rubyascha Kripa Sindhu Bhayevacha Patita Nam Pavane Bhyo Vaishnavi Bhyo Namo Nama Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Atvaita Gadadhar Shri Vasati Kaur Bhakta Vinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare So this is the deity of Ramai Pandit but it is that uh, this Ramai Pandit is different from Ramai, Ramai Pandit, Pandit who is the brother of Shri Vas Pandit. So Ramai, the common name. So this, this, there was a Ramai Pandit over in Mayapur, but this is up here, all the way up in Bhagna, Bhagna, Bhagma, Bhagna Para, no tigers, right? Bhagna para means Bhagna no para tiger. The, the story that the tigers were troubling the people here. So then they brought Krishna Balaram. They brought Krishna Balaram here. And Ramai Pandit was speaking to them. And then Krishna and Balaram arranged. That there would be no, no trouble. No, what happened? There was a tiger coming, was giving trouble to the people. But Ramai Pandit was here and he was worshipping Krishna and Balaram. So the tiger came and it came to Ramai Pandit and somehow he asked Ramai Pandit, give me prasad. And so the tiger got prasad, and then the tiger transformed into a human form, became a man. And then he explained what happened, that previously he'd been a devotee, previously he'd been a devotee but he was always criticizing devotees. He was always finding fault with the devotees. So he was always so critical with devotees that they got, they, they, people said he should be a tiger. So he became a tiger. So he got cursed by the devotees somehow because he was always criticizing them. So the result was he became a tiger. And the tiger, he was coming, he was always troubling everybody. And, and they said, you will remain in tiger body until you get the prasadam of the Lord. So he, it happened here that Ramai Pandit, he gave the prasad to the tiger. The tiger became, he became got back to the human form of life. So that's a warning. All of us, don't be critical of the devotees. We have to be very compassionate and talk how to avoid criticizing devotees. Just simply appreciate the devotees. We see the good, see the bad in our own fault, see the bad in ourselves, and see the good in others. Right? That's what we should be doing. Try to see the good in other people and always look at our own faults, how we are lacking. So that was one pastime which took place here. But then recently, like about 50, 60 years ago, there was a pastime here because they wanted to knock down this temple. The government, you can see it's a big market here, when we come in, it's, there's all vendors there. So they wanted to knock down this building and they were going to put up, a, you know, make a big market and everything. 
but of course the temple authorities they didn't want the building knocked down but the, the government was saying no we have to knock down the building we'll give you another place you go some other place we'll give you land some other place but what happened when they tried to knock down the building they brought the bulldozer but brought the bulldozer to begin the bulldozer just stopped the machine just froze couldn't, it couldn't do anything so they were they, they were surprised they'd never seen like this before then they understood the government people they were all un, they understood that it must be something that the Lord, He doesn't want us to knock down this building. So Krishna and Balaram, they arranged. They wanted to stay here. They wanted to keep this building. So over here we have Krishna, Balaram, and over there is Revati and Radha. Because the wife of Lord Balaram is Revati, and Radharani is the eternal consort of Lord Krishna. So they're over here, and Krishna and Balaram are over here. So when they take rest in the afternoon and the evening, when they close the curtains here, that time Krishna and Balaram come over here and stay with their wife and consort. And then when they come back, when they open the curtains again, then the deities come back here. So that pastime is taking place here. Lord Krishna and Lord Balaram, they're always in the company of their devotees. So Lord Balaram, he is the elder brother of Lord Krishna, Kanai. It's the younger brother. So, Lord Balaram is called Balai, and Krishna is the younger brother, he's Kanai. So, deities are called Balai Kanai. Pujari told me this morning, Balai Kanai. But in a book, in a guide book, it says the deities are called Ramai Kanai. Ram Kanai. Ram Kanai. Ram Kanai. Just Ram from Balaram. So Ram Kanai or Balai Kanai. <laughs> so this is the name of the deity. You can see very nice, beautiful deities, and they're being worshipped very nicely. Yeah. Nice pujaris here and everything. Puja, make cooking, making offering. So, Ramai Pandit is after Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Comes after Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Don't, don't know what time exactly. Hmm? Oh, right, that's right. Ramai Mataji was telling me that the Ramai Pandit was a disciple of Janava Mata. Janava Mata, who became the Acharya after Lord Nityananda disappeared. So, so long as Lord Nityananda was present, he was the Acharya. But after Lord Nityananda left the world, then Janava Mata, she became the Acharya and she was giving initiation. So, Ramai Pandit was a disciple of Janava Mata. But Janava Mata disappeared. She left the world in uh, Kamyaman. In what temple was it? Go Gopinath Mandir in Kamyaman. She entered into the deity there. That is how Janava Mata disappeared from the world. She actually entered into the deity of Gopinath in Kamyaman. So the Ramai Pandit, he was his, her disciple. He just wanted to stay in Kamyaban and serve there. He thought, my spiritual master has entered into the deity here, so I should be here, I should just stay and serve my guru. But what happened? Why didn't he come? How he got back here? Oh, yeah, that's right. He found the deities. <laughs> so he was bathing and the, there's some... Got 
somewhere there at Kamyavan, and he was taking bath there, and there were these deities coming to him. They were, you know, Vrindavan is like that. You, you dig the ground, you might find deities in the ground, you know. There's, de there's so many deities there. Sometimes they just appear there, and sometimes you know, some, are from their, some are there from like Vrajanath, Krishna's grandson, Vrajanabha, he put many deities, and then course of time, they couldn't maintain the worship. So they bury them, or maybe the, the Muslims are coming, and so put them in the ground to protect them. So this Ramai Pandit was taking bath, and he got these deities, Krishna Balaram. They didn't want to leave him, right? He didn't want to worship, he was already worshipping Gopina. Yeah, yes, we shouldn't put the back. So, how did that, what was the story again? I forget. Oh, so he was worshipping Gopinath, but these two deities, Krishna and Balaram, were coming to him. And then they came to him in the dream and they said, we want to go to Godadesh. We want to go to the place where we're going to come in the Kali Yuga and where we're going to display our most merciful pastimes. <laughs> of course, they, they'd already had pastimes. They'd already had their pastimes. This is after they appeared. They appeared. In, I've got it wrong. They they said we want to go back to go the day. Krishna and Balaram had found. They were there in Vrindavan and Ma, 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 Kamyavan. They were in Kamyavan. And they told Ramai Pandit, take us back to Godadesh. We want to be in Godadesh. We don't want to be here in Braja. We want to enjoy the kirtan of the holy name. Because Krishna and Balaram had already come as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Nityananda and they'd had the same kirtan here in Mayapur. And they were thinking, this is the nicest place, wonderful kirtan, we like it here, in Bengal, in Godadesh. So take us back to Godadesh. So Ramai Pandit came back here on the order of the deity and brought the deities here. And somehow over the years, huh, the king, Ah, king built nice temple. Because Ramai Pandit, he no, but he's just a poor Brahmana. He was just worshipping the deity under a tree. But somehow the king became interest, became respectful. And even this place got the name No Tigers. The tigers won't come anymore. The one tiger had become a devotee. So, king put the nice temple here. Then later on they wanted to knock the temple down. But Krishna wouldn't let them do that. Now sometimes it's like that. Krishna will arrange. He doesn't want them to knock down. Sometimes Krishna gives. Sometimes Krishna takes. We, we are just, we just have to surrender to the will of Krishna. Lord Krishna is happy here. What's the story about Lord Shiva again? You were telling me about Lord Shiva. Establish me next to Ram. Oh, did you hear that? Lord Shiva, 
He was in the forest. Tiger was in the forest. Oh, the tiger in his previous life was worshipping Lord Shiva in the forest. When he was criticizing the devotees, at the same time, he was worshipping Lord Shiva. And so, this, this uh, Lord, Lord Shiva, he was being worshipped by this Brahmana. Yeah, after the, the devotee became the tiger, so nobody's worshipping Lord Shiva anymore. Because Lord Shiva is just in the forest. So nobody's doing the worship anymore there. So Lord Shiva told, uh, Lord Shiva told Ramai Pandit, you have to put me beside Kanai, by, beside Kan Ram Kanai or Balai Kanai. And that way then I, I can receive worship. So is the Shiva Linga there in front of Shiva's when we came in? It's, it's on, on the altar there. The, so did you, I saw the Shiva Linga out there, but I thought it would be worship right beside Kanai. No. 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 Okay. <laughs> Often like that. She, the temple is more famous as Gopeshwar Mandir. It's not so famous as Ram Kanai or Balai Kanai. It's more famous for Mahadev. Just like Ramakeli, you go to Ramakeli. Ramakeli, you know, it's not famous for Sanatana Goswami. It's famous for the Nawab. <laughs> The Nawab Hussein Shah, he's, he's famous in Ramakali. It's not Sanatana Goswami who's famous. It's the Nawab. The Nawab was the emperor. And Sanatana Goswami was just the, the servant, the, the secretary. And so here also, Mahadev is famous. Not Kanai. Of course, for devotees, we're more interested in Balai Kanai. But we also offer our respects to Mahadev. Okay, quite an interesting Leela here. <laughs> okay, anybody has any questions? <coughs> yes. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the Muslim man. Now, because this is a Hindu temple, so they don't let the Muslims come into the temple. They have orth very orthodox. You know, some like in Jagannath Puri, they won't let people born in non-Hindu families into the temple. So here also they have the tradition that you have to be a Hindu to come into this temple. So there was one Muslim man who wanted to see, he, wanted, he just wanted to see the temple, he wanted to see the deities. And so it happened that this man somehow he had such a strong desire that they arranged there was some small window in the, some hole in the wall and they told the man you go there and the deities moved the deities moved from one place to another place so they could be seen from the hole in the wall and this way the man could get dashed just like at Udupi at Udupi Krishna that's the famous temple where the deity actually turned around 180 degrees because a man could see the deity but he could only see the back of the deity so he he was he was a uh, he was not a muslim but he was considered low born that he could not enter the temple so the deity turned around 180 degrees and so they left the deity that way because the deity turned around on its own. So they, they had to rebuild the temple. They 
Man, moved the, the, the altar around 180 degrees, moved everything around. Because the, the deity moved itself, they didn't want to move the deity back. And so you go today and see the deity, it's, it's turned around from how it used to be. So here also the deity moved so that the Muslim man could see the deity. It shows how Krishna is Bhakta Vatsala. Krishna reciprocates with his devotees. Even though you may not be Hindu, but still Krishna reciprocates with the devotees. Because Krishna is controlled by Bhakti. Not by Gya, not by Karma, but only by Bhakti. So Lord Krishna appreciated that Muslim man's Bhakti and he moved so that the man could have a vision of the form of the Lord. So you can see many wonderful pastimes taking place here in this special temple. Okay. Any other points? Okay. So we'll go on. To the next play, we're going to see Ambika Kavna. Not really a Gaudiya Vaishnava place, is it? Ambika, oh, if you go to Gauri, Gauri Das Pandit, if you see the Shiva Linga, yeah. <laughs> we're not going to see that. We'll just see Gauri Das Pandit's temple. Okay, so we're going to see Gauri Das Pandit's temple. Gauri Das Pandit, he was a great devotee of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He was very, very attached to Lord Chaitanya, Lord Nityananda. So he has very special deities there. They're exact replicas of Lord Chaitanya and Lord Nityananda. So will we get darshan? Yeah. Yeah. Huh? So we have to go before 12 o'clock. You ready? Yes.